Hello one and hello all. It is Jebro, and I am here to give you some commentating while I get ruled in the face by a thief slash mesmer combination over on the quarry. Now I haven't done one of these videos for a while, I haven't been very well for a while either. Voice has been a bit screwed, um, so I'm just kind of testing this out before I cast as well. So I hope that this video goes okay. So, welcome. I'm playing Engineer, very close to a Legend. I'm Legend now in Guild Wars 2 PvP, thankfully. Uh, this was a bunch of games I played today, and it didn't look like I was going to get a pip to get towards Legend because we are losing by a two cap. And the Thief and the Mesmer came to far, came to close, and just basically wrecked me, um, almost like old school. So I'm dipping into mid here, just sticking a bit of poison. It grows a bit low, so I'm making sure he doesn't regenerate up here as much as possible. Now I've got Bulwark Gyro, making sure I'm going to protect myself and my ally against incoming projectiles but unfortunately that doesn't happen ally goes down I pop up the elixir X of course to give myself some tankiness keep mid consistent and clear for as long as possible and here I managed to just about get out I'm gonna die I'm gonna go into downstate here as well notice that the opponent that goes into downstate at the same time not sure the ally has noticed this but of course it does get interrupted there, and he's going to get the res on me. So this is good. This is a good start. We've been able to get up here. I could, whether or not I'm going to be able to get the res there is going to be another thing or not. We can see him jumping into vapor form. He goes away over towards the side, and luckily we're able to get the res there as well. Things are even Steven, but we get one of those guys from the downstate into full death. And now I can go over towards the waterfall. Whether or not this was a good decision? is up to you but this is pretty much where the battle for waterfall is coming from because i hold this cap for most of the game um and i keep getting people coming in for 1v1s 2v2s and i make a couple of little mistakes now the thief is very good um he's kind of wrecked me in the first battle so now i'm thinking okay he's low hp make sure getting on get in on him don't let him regenerate get some nice damage um use my well and also reflect and there we go we're gonna see taking him down now thief going into a two a plus one in a fight anyway versus an engineer is very very difficult so you know it's not his fault he's just trying to keep it sustained and keep it you know contested so his buddy can get on the point now versus a necro now i haven't got much condi removed but i get a lot of my abilities off from the rampage of course and get the plus one from xc the warrior there as well who does a great job in this game and you may not think that for a warrior but yes there are good players in the queue who can play other classes um, it's just a little bit more tough, and I have no issue with that. Um, so now I'm waiting for the inevitable return of the big white char as he, the thief comes back in, getting with Thundercap. Didn't see me. Um, not sure why, but that was a little bit of a mistake on his error. Uh, and then we're going to use the evade, the rocket charge there, and get a lot of damage off on them as well as putting down slick shoes to give me a little bit of a gap. Um, using as well, I'm not really using Acid Bomb for damage here. I'm using it more to give me some distance when he gets in close and personal. Get off point, sneak up on him with, not, not sneak up on him, but rocket charge him down now i'm 1v2 here um i acid bomb too far but get get acid bombed into a fear which isn't great either and now i get some assistance as well now they're helping out on this point very very well and you can see that even though we lost quite early on this map can be snowballed back into your favor so well as long as you rotate into a better position or a matchup which is beneficial for your team because that's happened. This is a classic example of how this map can just snowball into your favor even if you've just got completely rinsed right at the beginning. Um, I love it. This is a really, really good example of that. And now we're able to take the Necro and the Thief down and obviously Sab is back and uh, I'm bringing out the finisher. Actually, I just bought this. A bit is sick anyway. So you can see on the map actually at the moment we did lose Quarry. Um, and we are going to stick to a 2 cap for a little bit. Just give ourselves a little bit of an extra lead. Now I'm thinking, okay, the Thief's come here twice. Is he going to come back? Is anyone else going to come back? Waiting for respawns, looking at the map, which is why I'm hovering my mouse over it. Half the game is looking at the map at the moment. Um, well, not at the moment, ever. So I'm just waiting to see whether or not he's going to come back. And uh, waiting for movement on the map as well. Now I can see the Thief is far, so I can go to mid, have a look-see there. But there are still people missing. Um... 
And this is where I make a little bit of a mistake, unfortunately, because I do miss their players coming from the side. Now I'm 1v2 and lost the cap. So what do I do here? I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for the cap, actually. I'm just going to go for it. Um, versus two of the worst people or classes I could go versus here. Um... I'll hold it consistent for a moment, I've got 1.6k HP, gonna try and put down my heal, get that off, and get the Mora as well to give me a little bit of a gap um, to make sure I can survive for a lot longer. Now that happens, and I use my um, uh, my bubble to protect me from any projectiles coming in, and then my ally comes in, I just go off point, line of sight a little bit, just survive for as long as possible until my teammates, because I know they've been backing me up, so I can I know that I can do that. Um, and that was very successful in the end. Lost the cap, but my compadres came in. So I was 1v2, not for very long, against two... Basically two of the worst matchups I could probably get. Um, other than just a revenant. And, you know, in the end we managed to get it. And uh, got the thief down there in the end as well as Cheeky Slick Shoes. Um, actually res the warrior with my gyro. Which I'm getting a lot better at now as well. Um, rather than just, you know, making sure that I'm going to take out the uh, thief there with the gyro and myself. Because obviously stomping a thief is a pain in the ass. So definitely get the res on the warrior. Try and get some damage. Did try to go for the down on the thief. But not, shouldn't really do that that much to be fair. Unless you know he's going to be able to go down without his... Um, Black Powder, of course, when he's down and he makes himself invisible. And if he's not got a port away. So now we've got the waterfall. We've got mid... Quarry is probably on the way as well. Necron jumps back onto that point. But now I'm just watching again for respawns. Watching the map. Everyone's spread in a really, really good way at the moment. To watch for incoming people. To see who's going to come to the map first. Now Mesmer's coming over to Waterfall. Obviously I'm going to defend this. Unfortunately I'm not using Pur Purge Gyro. Which I'm using a lot in queue at the moment as well. And I really regretted it in this matchup. Um... Not versus the thief though, because that's really, really good. Um, my heal here as well, oh god, is way off at the moment as well. And I've got a little bit of work to do. So I remove conditions, just quickly, you know, try and regen myself as much as possible. And I'm actually line of sighting the Mesmer there, just on the fence, although he's like kind of line of sighting himself. Defense field comes up from my uh, toolkit as well, blocks any of those projectiles from stuff and what not from the other player. Get my heal off, but I had poison on as well, so not much region coming off of that. Get my fifth skill on the elixir gun off as well to give myself some regeneration. And there's me Ellie, you know. Backed up by a really, really good Ellie, who is really, really good in this matchup as well as the Warrior and the other guys on the team. Um, they had some really, really nice map awareness as well as trying to, you know, support me on the point. Get my Rampage off and really, you know, when Rampage comes up and you just feel so powerful, you know that you can clean this up pretty quickly. The Necro goes down first. He should be easy to dispense of. Mesmer's going to try and maybe potentially port away here or port back. Um, but we want to take him out before he's able to get that chance. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to until we can get back on the node. So he pulled us off point so he could survive a little bit longer in a 1v1 rather than the 1v2. Thief is down as well. I just cleave up using my wall. Um, the guy goes down in the end, the thief, of course. Rather go for the damage than the down. Guy's off point. Don't need to worry about that. Three of us are on node. No need to have that at the moment. But the game is won. The game is done. And that was just a cheeky Battle of Waterfall game that I would thought I would just quickly show you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think and see you very soon. Hello everyone, this is Jebro and today we are going through the engineer build that I had on my channel from before. I'm just going to commentate over some gameplay that I've been doing recently and this is on Battle of Kylo. So first of all, of course, I see that someone is on the treb and I want to make sure I can take them out. Is actually going to be a thief as well as far as I remember.